stop calling biracial people black. It mm. is a it is a white supremacist, a white supremacy ideology that dumb Negroes and other people continue to live off of. They claim they want to fight against white supremacy. The fact that you are half and half, but you have to be black is white supremacy. And, and, and they keep going down the path. If you remember, they had the one drop rule. All of these yep. things were in place to create white purity. That happened in history. Y'all are now on autopilot because if you got a black daddy and a white mama, you are default black. Y'all are doing it for the white supremacists. So therefore, when statistics go south in a biracial situation, that number is attached to black folks, not white folks, because you want to be black. Colin Kaepernick wants to be black when he's biracial and raised by all white people. How in the world do you end up black? If you you're 50 50, if you want to pick a side, you should be forced to pick the side that you are most. Uh, uh, identify with if you are going to pick a side. My children will never pick a side. You are biracial. You are 100% there. You are 100% there, bro. You are biracial. Don't, I'm, your white side and the black side love you the same. You ain't black. You are biracial. But if you, if, you, if you sit down and look at it and you say, you got to pick a side. If you're raised by white people or you're raised by a single white mama, if you're forced to pick a side, then you need to pick the white side. How you black? How are you going to pick a black guy <laughs> when you've been raised by white people? Uh, Colin Kaepernick syndrome. You, you, you don't have it. You Then what they should tell you, the mixed people who are trying to say they're black and raised by white people, what do you know about being black? Mm. What do you know about being black in America? You don't. You're just looking at the color of your skin. You were raised in a white community. You were raised in a, in a certain way. But the whitest man in America who's lying about being black is telling white people about how, how it feels to be black. And he's the top <laughs> black activist in America. And that fool is white. Yeah, Sean the whole thing, is a white man. Yeah, yeah, he's white. He's white as snow. And I don't know how anybody thought that he was black ever, though, because I saw him from the beginning. I thought it was just like, a, what they say, a white ally. I never thought that he's actually a, a, a black person. It's like, y'all really fooling for that little Clark Kent uh, Superman costume. The little the little goatee with the glasses and the little haircut. I know a white man when I see it. There's no way in the world that this guy is black. He's straight white. You're talking about straight from Ireland, straight from uh, the Nordic countries. I mean, this dude could put on a blonde wig and be in a Viking movie today. So I don't understand how anybody thought that he'd be a black man at all. And then he got a nerd that had this, this fake voice, this fake deep voice. It's like, sir, you need to stop. You are not black at all you are a whole white man <laughs> and this is the whole thing about <laughs> and this is the whole thing about you know being mixed you should be able to claim whatever you want i mean you both you shouldn't have to pick anything it's like okay i'm black and white i'm i'm mixed you know i remember kids would say that when i was growing up it was like what are you i'm mixed that's it and yeah. and have that be that you know if you want to get into the whole racial lineage and stuff like that who your great 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 grandma is and that's fine but you're mixed and it's fine it's okay to be that you don't have to necessarily be anything and you said it about the whole one drop rule that was a jim crow law and we just kind of like stick it to it that's not really no big deal so you could be you know pocahontas elizabeth warren and allegedly have one one twenty fourth. and you know the crazy part is that when she had the dna test and they said one one thousand and twenty fourth, she said yeah i am native it's like really you're taking that one drop rule to the max you are a whole white lady stop it but when we hold on to the racist laws of the past, you get things like that, okay? And all this race stuff, everything being predicated upon race, it just kind of fosters it. When you got a society that's predicated upon race, you're going to withhold some of those racist laws from the past because that's how you deal with race being the forefront of society. I, I couldn't say it better. Let me show y'all this fool. This is a white man. <laughs> white. 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 He's white. I wish I had these pictures. This man is white. He ain't got no black features. Look, I'm just being, I'm keeping it 100. Look at my nose. Boom. That's a wide nose. That's black people nose. Look at these lips. <laughs> these soup coolers. Look at these lips. But look, look but see, now you, you, you see, see his little disguise. He got, he got the little goatee. He has the, the three mustache goatee. He got one right there. 
one right there and then one right there three mustaches so that right there that's his black guy disguise and then he has on the black rim glasses so that's a that's a disguise right there that's clark kent this dude listen let, i'm telling y'all this is what if you if you're a white person and you want to kind of be ethnic you get this edge up right here you go to, <laughs> you go to leroy now in the barber shop and you say line me up give me the fake give me the straight up line this side up like this you know put it together right here because if you see sean king the white man when he was a kid i want y'all to see this look at it's on here somewhere i'm gonna find it it's right there like go, go up a little bit you see um to go down a little bit to the left right there now nah, to the right right here right here yeah Boom. that's him white man. this is this is e white man i mean i guess it's a video Oh, they got a whole they got a whole oh, video got, oh, all the oh, pictures here you go here you go here you go y'all here you go y'all <laughs> i ain't gonna take the so value that, 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 that got a family right there you got a whole you got a whole white family straight in the country great these people are right <laughs> where's sean king at right here right no, there in the bottom right, right hand here. corner this him yeah that's him yeah this him that you got, you got the whole you got the, the wonder years looking right there Listen, out of Pappy, this is daddy. This dude looked like him. Yep. This is daddy. Come on, we got some more. Somebody, somebody know what they're doing. Let's see if Sean King got some more. There's some other pictures from when he was a kid. See, white, white, but he got that, he got that edge up with that part yeah. with that Mike Tyson part. And so, so right and he, there, that, that that's when the whole black thing started. He's like, okay, I'm gonna get a tan. I'm gonna get the low cut now. Um, I'm I'm gonna identify as black. That that's when the whole thing started. Man, when your hair lay down like that, and you ain't even trying, you are a white man. They got it right here. They got it right here, yeah. man. That's a white kid. You yep. saw this kid, you would not think this kid was a black kid. He don't even look mixed. My son is mixed. My son don't look like this. Right. This dude is a this dude is a fraud, man. And you have to wonder, well, why does he wear the glasses like that? Because I feel like it kind of masks some of his some of his white facial features. It's, it's Clark Kent, man. That's all it is. Take, take the glasses off. You turn into a whole different person. Look at him, man. Look at him when he was a kid. You That's got, got a, a white kid. You, you got a, you got a whole mullet in the back. Mully, <laughs> he got the mully right yeah, there. Or race car driver. I need to save this video. Look at the mullet. He and that look wow. like a little white girl. That, 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 that mullet flourishing. Look at that. That's the that's the that's the epic mullet. Epic. <laughs> like you got some, you got some back in his pocket right now. Man, look, look. I ain't trying to be racist or nothing. When I was growing up, black people didn't have mullets. That was like a that was like a white people stuff where you where you have a mullet hanging like that. This bro got a curly mullet. You ain't black, bro. <laughs> you ain't black. If they got more, you know, and then he tried to get a little ethnic. You know what yeah. I'm saying? All he had to do that, is that, that's when the change happened. Get a little tan, grow your little, grow your little petty stash out, put your Mike Tyson cut in there, get you a fade. That's the black man starter kit. Get you a fade and get you the little stash right there. Because if you grow it out too much, you're gonna look white. I'm gonna see if they got some more stuff. Look at them, y'all. Is that him right there? Wow. That's him, bro. That's He's crazy. a white kid. God damn. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to bash. I'm not, I'm not in any way trying to bash white people. I'm just saying, stop lying on this boy. This See, look, dude and, is and, going and around the, saying he's a black man. And, and, and the girl right there in the center looks like she might be mixed. See, that's what she, mixed look like. She could look, she probably mixed. Look at her nose. Look at them lip features. They they're a little thick. Cause you take you take some of the dominant features, like see the black kid got a thicker nose, bigger nose. She got a bigger nose. This look like a mixed kid. When you got the little skinny nose like that, and you got thin lips, you, I'm not saying that mixed people don't have those features. I'm just saying that's with with, with you when you add in all of his background, it don't it ain't adding up. I mean, if that dude didn't have these glasses on. And he grew his hair out and let it be curly like when he was a kid. You will see very clearly that this is not a black man. Look at him, man. Look how fair, look how fair his skin is. Only way your skin is this fair 
as a white man, if you albino, you ain't black with your skin is fair. Right. Yeah. It ain't happening, if, bro. If, it's not. If, if he was albino, I'd be able to tell albino because I know albinos and, you know, they got the real light blonde hair. Like that ain't him. Look at him. I'm trying to I'm trying to rub it in, man. I want to rub it in because I need people. I need to keep this video. And, you know, the, the key the key part to this is what we're talking about is that this is Sean King. This is a so-called black activist, one of the biggest black activists on the Internet. And on top of this whole, um, you know, black fishing scheme he got going on, he's also a scammer. Then took plenty of cash money from people for fraudulent little um, black projects. So you got a whole white man scamming black people for donations while he's pretending to be a black man. Like you, you got a you got a whole entire scammer right in front of you, and it's okay. It's crazy. Dollazal, what's her name? Dollazal. She she like oh, Dollazal. Yeah, another one. On his birth certificate, this is this is Sean King's birth certificate down here. It's oh, as big as it's gonna be. His birth certificate said he's white. He's white on his birth certificate, man. Yeah, you see his brother. I mean, his brother looked like he could just go chop wood for a living. So it's like, come on. Yeah, why, why the thing is that why don't why don't they show the siblings? You, you feel me? They never really show the siblings, and I want to know a BET award. That's crazy, huh? He has a BET award in his hand. They need to do a blood <laughs> test. They need to do a blood test on him. Like, like, they, they, tell me this, ABL. Riddle me this, brother. Why don't he do a twenty three and me? Hey, he need to, man. I got five on it. If he if you don't got the money, I know, I know you got the money because you be scamming, but if you need the money, I got five on it. Let's let's see what's going on. And I bet you when we get it back, you're talking about 98.8% European, Western European, England, Scotland, Ireland. You know what I'm talking about? He'd be looking like a straight Nordic person on his 23 and me. Bro, they'll figure out who your daddy is. They'll figure out what your what your uh family tree is. Because, you know, because I think they will, because if the DNA is a match. They'll be able to tell you who your ancestry is. And this dude <laughs> up here, it, it's only contrast. Like. It's crazy. Are, ladies and gentlemen, these are black people. This is a white, this is a white man. <laughs>